forever. The founding father of Islamic Relief, the father of humanity, the one and only. Give a huge round of applause for Dr. Hani al Alhamdulillah wa sallam wa rasulullah. Thank you, Brother Afzal, for reminding me of the good old days when we used to have no tables, no office, no desk, no address, no budget, no workers, but volunteers. Volunteers are a mission, a message, a vision, asset, treasure, future, and leadership. Volunteerism is not something we do at the weekend or after six o'clock in the evening. It's a life mission because of the enormity of the problems facing humanity, especially most of the Muslim countries. I was in Greece last week, still appalling after four or five years. People are still living in plastic tents, sheets of plastic in a tent. Women, men, traveling from Yemen, from Syria, from Iraq, from Afghanistan, from Pakistan. The achievement should be there in Lesbos. In Pakistan, in Afghanistan, in Myanmar, in Bosnia, everybody forgot about Bosnia. Two weeks ago was the memorial, Srebrenica Memorial, and we forgot about it. Eight, nine thousand people slaughtered or shot dead in three days. Faster than Kurbani. Faster than Kurbani. Achievement should be there to build Bosnia, to bring peace to Bosnia, to stabilize peace in Bosnia. Brother Abzal talked about Prophet's hadith. The person who is two days in a row are the same is at loss. Every day for a volunteer or for any one of us should be a special day. Every day should work, should learn, should educate, should teach, should walk, should build, should inspire should drive, should save, should help every day. Every day in our life is every day of the life of others. In every day of our life, there's a second. Should achieve in a second. There's a minute. There's an hour. There's a day, the morning, the afternoon, the evening. Every day in my life is a day for every day of somebody else who does not enjoy the same life that I'm enjoying. Every day should be achiever. Every day we should be guidance to others, savior for humanity. Every day should be stabilizing and bringing peace to others. Every day we should be fighting the xenophobe who are trying to divide community and tarnish community and blame others for things that they have not done. Every day, we should be builders of what? Of humanity. Savior of what? Of humanity. As Brother Tufail was talking about this lady in Cox Bazar, many, now it's more than one million individuals in Cox Bazar, needs your help, your thoughts, your idea, your dreams, your inspiration, not every day, but every minute. We need to leave the issue of every day for the days which will never come to the other community who cannot see the day to end for them. We enjoy our achievement. We have offices, we have desks, we have cakes, we have money. We have, we have, we have, we have, we have. But they don't have. 
Celebration should be there. Achievement should be there. Smile should be drawn there. And comfort in our heart. When they smile at our face, it will come to our heart, wherever you are. Because every day, we should change the face of humanity based on the great plea in Islam and the diverse mission of Islam and the teaching of the teacher of humanity in Islam, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Every day we should do that. It's not only to come today to celebrate one day or one hour or two hours. No. Celebration and the achievement comes every day after every day's work. You are the people who are going to be icons for humanity. You are the people who are going to save humanity. You are the people who are going to build community, to build peace. You are those people who have to be patient, have some time to suffer, to bring the, the day of the, the sunny day to the people who are waiting for the sunny day every day. So every day, we should have a dream. Not for myself, not for ourselves, but for themselves. Every day, we should fulfill this dream for everyone who's looking up at every and any one of us. Every day, we should bring the dream and make our dreams reality. To any and everyone who does not have bright future as he or she thinks. I was in this last bus. I met three families. One is British, none of them is Muslim. One of them Spanish, none of them Muslims. And one of them is Greek, none of them Muslims. They give up their life. They give up their life to stand for humanity to people that they have never seen before. Not because they are Muslims, but because they are human beings. Every day we should become human. Every day we should be human. Every day we should care for human. And every day we should make human in humanity safe in his or her land. And this is the teaching of somebody whom humanity is, is waiting for his teaching to save it. Muhammad, the one who could not be able to read and write, but the one who managed to bring peace, safety, and love to not only human beings, to humanity, all creatures of Allah. That's why trees, winds, stones, water, rivers, sand, birds, insects, love him. Love him. Love him. So every day we should love Muhammad. Every day we should worship Allah. Every day we should follow Muhammad. Every day we should praise Allah who sent us Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And this is every day of every day that we can work every day for humanity, not for our families, not for our tribes, not for our clan, but for humanity. Humanity is our family. Humanity is our clan. And humanity is our aim. Because every day we love Jesus, peace be upon him, was one of the saviors for humanity. Love Moses, peace be upon him, one of the saviors of humanity. Love all the prophets, peace be upon them, who are the savior of humanity. And do love Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who taught us to love all his brethren who came to save humanity. So every day, every day, every day, we should make a change. Thank you, Brother Afzal, for bringing this hadith. Actually, to remember the teacher 
of humanity forever. Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Go out. Yeah, Go down. Awesome.